Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Black Cauldron. Um, as you see, we're here in front of the scary Horn King's castle. Um, the lightning and the Gwythans flying around it. Um, so let's uh, head in there and shake some things up here. Um, now, one of the reason we're here um, is basically because we need something to give the witches in exchange for the Black Cauldron, and nothing I had. Um, look at how hard it is to walk this freaking thing. I remember dying constantly here, and then we'd have to... Uh, before we knew how to save the first day, we'd die constantly here. We'd have to start from the beginning. But anyway, like I was saying, the reason that we're here is um, to find something to exchange with the three witches for the black cauldron and I already know what we're supposed to exchange I just remember it was it was the uh, the sword um, but um, if you didn't know that then I guess you would have to just come here anyway just because there's nothing else you'd be trying everything and this would be the place left I do like the game better though when you take the other path where if you let the Gwythant capture the pig and then you come here to rescue the pig so you have actually a reason to come to this castle other than you don't know what else to do if you take that path i think it's a more exciting story specific path and i hope i don't run out of water i think i filled it up but you never know okay but now you're out of water ah there you go i guess i i must have forgotten to fill it up um what I should do. I suppose I could go back and fill it up. Oh, shoot. Maybe there's water inside. Now, I remember this. I remember you are in front of the dreadful castle of the Horned King. A slimy green moat filled with alligators surrounds it. I remember you could sneak in sneak into this guy's thing here let's see if we could jump in gathering your courage you leap into the rear of the wagon the henchman continues into the castle without noticing you so i'm taking a risk here i'm i might run out of water um well i did run out of water but i might die of dehydration but we'll see what happens the henchman can't see you and leaves you leap from the wagon. So now we're inside the castle. Here, I'll just see if we'll do that. Maybe there's water somewhere in this castle. Oops. You are in the Horn King's wine cellar. Oh shoot. Better get out of here. Ugh. You are taken to a cell in the Horn King's dungeon. On top of everything else, they took all your belongings. You'll stay in this dungeon until you rot, pig boy. Actually, he, he sounds like he would talk more like, You'll stay in this dungeon until you rot. He probably talks more like that because it's like a dumb guy. You are in the cell in the Horn King's dungeon. What's this here? You pick up the tin cup and carry it with you. Alright, so I got a tin cup. And I still have my magic word. They didn't take that from me. You rattle the cup against the door, but nothing happens. You rattle the cup against the stones, but nothing happens. Ooh. Suddenly, a flagstone slides back and a hole appears in the floor. A strange glowing sphere pops into your cell. Let's see if I could get that. A beautiful young girl appears scolding 
What's all the noise up here? Oh, hello. You must be a prince or a great warrior. I'm Princess Ellen Wee, and this is my magic bauble. I'm Taryn, assistant pig keeper of Care Dalbin, you respond. That's too bad. I was hoping for a great hero to get me out of this dismal place. Oh well. There we go. Nothing to do. Talk to her. You are in the secret passageways below the Ho Horned King's dungeon. I'll just ignore that. This is the Horn King's secret chamber, where skeletons of hundreds of fallen soldiers lie waiting to become his army of the cauldron born. Oh, she doesn't follow me in here. Now, I think this is where the sword is. It's in a secret passage somewhere in here. You are below the Horn King's dungeon. There is a hole in the ceiling that you can't reach. You are roaming around in the hidden passageways be beneath the Horn King's dungeon. I can't talk to her. I too am being held here against my will, Ellen Way says. Okay, now this is the spot. See look see how that bauble disappears through the rocks there? It's the same thing that I said before. Um There's actually a clue here. There's a hole in the wall here. When you push the when you push on the wall, a block falls inward. You push another block. And still another. And another. A burial chamber, explains Ellen Wee. This must be the tomb of the great king who built this castle long ago. There's a metallic glint atop the coffin. Looking at the crypt, you see a magnificent sword in the grasp of the carved stone king. Examining the sword, you see the inscription... Durnwin. Its magic electrifies the air around you. Look, Taryn, explains Ellen Wee. My bauble seems to have found another hole in the wall. Maybe I can escape. Okay, well. Taryn, it's an old tunnel. I'm leaving this horrible place. Good luck on your quest, Taryn. Hey, wait. Wait for me. Says Ellen Lee, squeezing through the crack in the rear wall. Don't wait for me. Oh, don't wait for me, Princess Ellen Wee, you say. No, I want to go through that. I'll find another way out of here. Why, why can't I fit? Am I that much fatter? You struggle, but are finally able to free the sword from the grasp of the carved stone king. Nice. Finally got a weapon. Well, I, I did have the dagger before, but I didn't get to use it. Magic sword. You swing your magic sword. Nice. Let's save. Can't believe she left without me. Ellen Way could fit through this hole, but you cannot. She left without me. Well, she did get me out of the dungeon. I guess I can't be too mad with her. How the hell do I get out of here, though? Um, I think there's a secret ladder somewhere around here. Um, but I don't remember where it is. Nothing interesting here. Well, let's keep looking around. 
abandoned by the princess. Uh, okay, and there's a ladder. There's a hideous gargoyle on the wall. Doesn't look much like a gargoyle. You bump your head on the ceiling. Ow! That looks more like a troll with roller skates. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you see those yellow things with the roller skates, and then it's got like a little face, like two gray eyes and like a straight line for a mouth with weird gray hair. I don't know. It doesn't look like a gargoyle. <laughs> you twist the gargoyle clockwise. It turns easily, opening the trap door in the ceiling above your head. Nice. Let's get out of here. So, there appears to be a ladder leading to the darkness below. So, let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, I could kill him. You swing and miss. You are swinging your magic sword already. You swing and miss. The henchman falls to the ground, momentarily stunned by your sword. Run, Taran. Oh, you can't kill him. Just knock him down. Let's see what's in here. You can't open that door. Guess not. All right, let's see what's up. Oh, there's nothing to do here. By failing to react quickly enough, you're you've allowed the henchman to capture the magic sword. You've been captured. It's too late to swing your sword. Sorry, Taran. You have failed in your quest. Failure! The Horn King now has the Black Cauldron and evil rules. I think it's pronounced Pridane. I've been pronouncing it Pridane this whole time because that's just how I was used to reading it when I was a kid. But I remember seeing the movie. I think they pronounced it Pridane. But I don't know. You can correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this. So I'm dead again. Let's go back. Let's save right over here. I can't believe I can't go into this door. Let's try that again. He comes like really close with it. Nice. What's this? Are these keys? It's a key ring full of keys hanging on the wall. Nice. You take the key ring and its keys off the wall. Ah! Too late. Alright, let's try that again. Nice. Good at this game or what? Alright. Can't why can't I open doors? Maybe I need the key. Oh look at this guy. You have found a friendly looking old prisoner. guy free. My name is Taran, assistant pig keeper of Kerr Dalbin, you say. May I assist you? You struggle with his ropes until you undo the knots. The prisoner speaks. Thank you, kind sir. I am Fludor Flam, storyteller, minstrel, and bard to the greatest kings in all Pridane. 
The Horned King has kept me imprisoned for years in this cell. In return for granting me my freedom, I'd like to present you with this special harp. Oh, thank you. Sir, Gudor says, you may choose to remain here, but I intend to make my escape. Farewell, Assistant Pig Keeper Taran. Wait, no, come on. In the movie, you're like buddies with me, and we travel together. Yeah. So I got a harp. What if I could play that? Like, the, the lute. Flutor Flam's harp probably sounded beautiful in his hands, but not in yours. I guess I can't play it. Alright, let me get my magic sword ready. I remember this doing something. You examine the grate. It is merely resting against the wall. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the Horn King's secret chamber, where the skeletons of hundreds of fallen soldiers lie waiting to become his army of the cauldron born. So let's, yeah, this is where he goes when he wants to. Now, where do I get my stuff that he took? Because he took all my food. He took my water flask. You stare at the hook where the key ring used to hang. There's nothing. It's not there. Let me check in this area here. Maybe I can open this with the keys. It locked me in. So that's just the cell that I was locked in. Oh, shoot. Alright, nice. Alright. Escape from the dungeon. Let's get out of here. Yep. Good thing we walk slow. Ugh. Let's see what's over here. Wow. There's a closed door here and a lot of other stuff too. Carefully watching over your shoulder, you open the closet door. Reaching into the closet, you reclaim your possessions. Ah, good. So everything is in there. Oh, shoot. Magic sword. Nice. Oh, don't be dry. I don't have any water. Oh! Looks like a real cleaver. Perhaps you shouldn't find out. Can I kill that guy? Kitchen. I don't know if there's anything in here I need. I can't seem to kill the cook. I can only knock down the henchman. Boo! Boo! Why'd you hit me? Oh, I want to kill this guy. Can I talk to him? No. Can't do anything in here. All right, well, let's get out of here. What is this thing? It's a Gwythant, I think. Mm. Um. Oh, 
Oh no, you've allowed the Horn King to capture your magic sword. Sorry, Taran, you have failed in your quest. The Horn King now has the Black Cauldron, and evil rules per diem. Alright. I saved, though. Let's see what's in here. Where? This must be the throne room. This is the throne room of the evil horned king. Let's sit in this throne. Can't do anything. Alright. Want some more? Duh, yeah. Should just get out of here. Oh, good. This is the way out. I can explore this later, but I need water badly right now. I don't think that green water is good to drink either. There's nothing to do. How do I open the door? You are in the central courtyard of the castle. The great chains of the drawbridge stretch over your head. Oh, uh, I guess I gotta. Can't do anything. Just do it. Oh, maybe I. That's right, I cut the chain. You swing the magic sword over your head with tremendous force. It easily slices the train, the chain, causing the drawbridge to come crashing down. The henchman is stunned. Leave him alone. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. if I fill the flask with this green water. Alright, I'm gonna save just in case. Because I do want to explore that castle a little more before I go. If I could drink this uh, water, but I'm not, it doesn't look very good, it's green. <laughs> the green slimy moat water makes you choke and cough. You die an ugly death. Sorry, Tyrant, you have failed in your quest. The Horn King now has the Black Cauldron and evil rules per day. Alright. Well, actually, I still have the green water, though. How do, can I dump it out? I don't think I could dump it out. All right, well, let me go back a little further. I'm gonna get the magic sword ready. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta cut the chain. Alright, let's get out of here. This time not drink the green water. I wonder what that is. Is this the slime? Alligators. Oh man, what an idiot. Let's try again. Oh, not that one. I should save over that green water thing.
Here we go. All right, so let, let me save here so that if I fall. Because I'm gonna fall if I go too fast. I know it. It just just happens all the time. This is really narrow. <coughs> That's it. I'm not using the diagonal buttons anymore when I go over there. <laughs> Very irritating. just hope I make it back before I die of thirst because I know I'm very thirsty right now actually you know what why not fairy dust rushes between your fingers as if it's telling you not to use it here oh shoot Can't even use the fairy dust here. Why? Just scared of this place? Doesn't make no sense. Save again just in case I screw up. Nice. Here we are back here. Ugh. Maybe I could use the. Can't use it here either. can only use it at the swamp, I think. It's the only place that it comes in handy. Oh! Stupid diagonal. Good. Now I've got to catch on to the rope and get out of here. So far, so good. Here's the rope. Whew, made it. Oh. <laughs> Almost didn't. Almost walked right off like an idiot. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -boo. All right. Down the rope we go. Nice diagonal button. Go down. Nice. Now I just got to make it to the water before I die of thirst. I begin to feel a little hungry. I got plenty of food. A magic food wallet produces enough food to satisfy you. So you, you have to eat and drink constantly in this game, but you never have to poop or pee. You never have to go to the bathroom. You never know, there's no games where you ever have to go to the bathroom. Actually, there's a few games where you can go to the bathroom. You can go to, I know in Space Quest, you can go, Space Quest 2, there's a, there's a whole toilet scene, which is classic. Space Quest, by the way, is my favorite game of all time. Eventually, I'm going to do a Let's Play of that. Um, maybe not the next one, but maybe the one after that. Uh, but you don't—you never have to go to the bathroom. Like it doesn't like. It's not like a need, like eating and drinking. Like you won't die of never pooping. Your thirst is intense. You'd better get some water soon. Oh, wow, look at the time. Um, all right, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I'll see you next time in Let's Play the Black Cauldron. Tandy 1000 version. Even though I'm playing it on a PC with Windows 7. Well, whatever. I mean, it's emulated as a Tandy 1000. All right, goodbye, signing out.